Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be finishing up the transmission. Uh, I finally received the input shaft bearing and a whole bunch of seals. So we're going to be replacing the input shaft bearing and the seals on this transmission and then torquing everything down. So that will be one less thing to worry about because the transmission will be done. All we'll have left is just rebuilding the V18 V1. And then it should be good to go into the car. So let's just get started and put all this stuff in. All right, so this is the input shaft. This is the one that we're gonna replace. All right, so let's open up the new one and we'll compare it with this one. Oh yeah, this spins way smoother. It stands up like this and you wanna get this, uh, the bearing from behind here. So you just get a flathead screwdriver back there and you can knock it right out. Gently does it, and this is out now. It actually spins pretty smooth. So we don't even have to replace this. Same code and everything. But this is the new one. This is the old one. Sounds about the same and it runs pretty smooth. We'll put the new one in anyways because we're already there, but we'll keep the old one um, because it's still good. There is a seal behind here. And as you can see, the seal's right there. So all you do is just gently pry this up. There we go. Seal's out. This definitely needed to be replaced. It's kind of gummy and old. And then now we can install the new seal. Here's the new seal. Just make sure that it's about the same. It looks about the same. Gonna make sure that it's flush in there. All right, now it's time to install the new bearing. Again, same process, you just whack it in. All right, so I'm going to take this out as well and clean it and then we're going to get some compressed air and blow out the whole thing so that way nothing, no little dust debris or anything end up inside the transmission when we reassemble. And then while we're at it, we're going to install the seals as well. I have one for that side. 
All right, so we're gonna install the um, seal for the driver side uh, axle seal. Make sure you get the right one for the right application. Uh, this is a DC Integra one. The DA Integra ones are different. Uh, I'm choosing to go with the DC Integra half shaft and all that, so that's why I'm running this one. If you're going with DA Integra, you need to get the DA Integra ones. Yep, that's flush. All right, so that's good. Let's flip it back around. We're gonna blow out anything in here now with some compressed air. Actually, I don't even need compressed air. I can just use my blower. All right, that's clean. All right, everything in here is all good now. We just have to install the final uh, axle seal on the other side, and then we could just assemble it all together. good there you go guys transmission is all ready it's all put together uh bearings are all good we replace all the seals so we're pretty much good to put that transmission in whenever now i'm just going to reprint um some more axle seal caps i guess because i'm using the dc axles uh i need a 35 millimeter one for the half shaft because one size is going to be a little bit smaller than this size here i think this is a 40 millimeter so yeah, I'm just gonna have to reprint that and cap it off and you know, it can sit until we're ready to install it. And then I'll inspect the throwall bearing and the old clutch just to make sure that everything is still reusable. Uh, no point in buying another clutch if I can still reuse the old one. Anyways, that's it for this video guys. It was a lot of work. Um, so I hope this helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe and share my videos. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.